What's going on everybody? I got a really exciting video today. It's very rare you will hear me compliment an update from Civil 3D. They do surprise me every once in a while, which is nice to see. This is one of those times. What this new tool is, it's only out in 23.2. So before uh, you guys go around trying to see where this button is or saying you don't have the button, you have to have Civil 3D 23.2 installed. So that's the second major update of 2023. This new tool, if I go ahead and grab this corridor, is called Edit Corridor Transitions. In layman's terms, what it does is it allows you to add or edit any of the properties on your subassemblies. So if I grab this subassembly here, we will see that this is our typical urban curb and gutter, which is one of the default Civil 3D ones. It's the one that, for, for whatever reason, has letters instead of actual descriptions on it. I happen to know that dimension D is the height of my curb. So let's say, for instance, we want to put a driveway or see what a driveway is going to look like for this property here. And we want to go ahead and start at uh, station uh, 390 here. And so typically the workflow would be, oh, I'm going to have to create another assembly that has a zero curb height, drop that down, uh, run that one, the width of my driveway, and the way I typically did it is I just allowed Civil 3D to go ahead and triangulate and I would have a gap in my corridor uh, to allow for the curb ramp or driveway ramp to be shown. Instead of having to do that, I can just do that with whatever subassembly I have currently in use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our corridor edit curb transition and it's going to ask me to select a region to do this in and now that we've selected a region you can see it's highlighting in blue the different parts of my subassembly and you can see that on the left and the right see how my lane is blue on the right side of my screen and there's my curb uh, with the blue and there's my sidewalk so we know we want to do the curb so i'm going to click the curb and i want to change dimension D and we're going to need a starting station so we said before I'm going to go starting at station 390 and starting at that parameter value we're going to start at 0.5 and next what we're going to do is I can either type in uh, the dimensions here or I can just come up here and click uh, the button we're all very familiar with or I can just hit escape and type this in. So I know that my flare is going to be six feet wide so I'm going to go to 396 and here our value is going to be 0.01 height. And we all know Civil 3D does not like zeros, so that's why we're doing 0.01. Now I'm going to do this drop down here, and I'm going to insert another transition below, and we can see just like it does in the corridor properties, it's already grabbed that 396 station and the starting value. Now let's see our driveway is 20 feet wide, so now we're going to go to 416. Now 416, we're still going to be at 0.01 height. And now let's do our last flare, which is going to start at 416, be uh, one height. We're going to go to 422, six feet, and we're going to go back up to 0.5. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And we can go ahead and close this guy. And just to make sure, I'm going to rebuild my corridor. And let's go ahead and rebuild the surface. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Object Viewer. And here we can see right there 
There is our driveway cut. Pretty amazing stuff. So, like I was saying before, if I want to change the width, I can do that by selecting the lane and changing the width uh, parameter. Same thing with my sidewalk. We can see it's not touching the right of way here. Instead of creating all these additional sub assemblies like we've done since 2005, you know, when this software first came out, we can now circumvent all those corridor trees and assembly trees that we normally have for all those different scenarios. And we can actually just use a couple of them and change the parameters. Very impressive stuff from Civil 3D. I just wanted you guys to show you guys how to do these ramps um, and kind of start the process of you guys seeing some of the new tools that's in 23. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hope you like this video, and until next time, stay frosty.